always hear how bad plastic and other things are for the environment. We're about to introduce you to a 10 year old Stafford County student who did something about it. She saw something she didn't like and convinced officials to make a change. Marcella Robertson has a story. Turtles have been eating twice as much as they did. 20 Lily Tipling is just 10 years old. 99% um, of seabirds will have plastic in their. But give her five minutes. So these gyres and she'll school you on how plastic is ruining our environment. Ocean currents especially plastic straws. Well, straws in our cafeterias, they're unnecessary. Um, and we use like five at a time to blow bubbles in our milk and stuff. We use about 1,920,000 single use straws per year in Stafford County Public Schools. I'm so astonished by this. I'm like, why should I just sit here and do nothing? So I decided to make a change. And just like that, Lily became an activist. Her mom says what started as a research project first turned into a change at home. As her parents, we weren't exactly the most sustainable people. We aren't, we aren't really into the environment. And um, she started by making an impact with us. And ended with a trip to the Stafford County School Board. I come to you because I know that you dedicate your lives to the future of the children in Stafford County. My heart is heavy with the knowledge that our future and the future of our planet is currently in great danger. A few weeks later, the superintendent had a big announcement. He said that they, as of May, yeah, May 6th, May 6th, yes, okay, May 6th, um, as of May 6th, they will no longer purchase single-use plastic straws. So I was like, wow, like if one, one person can make such a big difference, imagine what all of us can do together. In Stafford County, Marcella Robertson, WUSA 9. Incredible lesson she learned. One person can make such a big difference. Lily is a fourth grader at Conway Elementary and eliminating plastic straws will save $4,000 for the school district. Congratulations to you and I hope you inspire many others.